my first uh, topic and the first interest uh, I had in this discipline was to look at uh, festivals, local festivals in Provence. Uh, Uh, so it's uh, part of uh, anthropology at home. Uh, I was uh, interested by uh, village festivals, traditional festivals and all the local folklore. Uh, but uh, my focus was uh, historical, uh, ethno-historical, because in Provence uh, uh, you, have a lot of, uh, you have a lot of works from folklorists and ethnologists in the 19th century already and uh, they have uh, invented uh, a lot of festivals and the, interested, the interesting point in looking at festivals today is to see how these uh, modern inventions are re-adapted, reconstructed, uh, revived uh, in today's world and how the, the meanings of the, of the local festivals change. Uh, in, the, in the 90s, when I began working on festivals, I felt that uh, the festivals were more and more used as uh, strategic resources uh, for the local communities um, in, uh, in a place where uh, tourism was a growing uh, field. And uh, I uh, work on festivals uh, as an ethnographer. I, uh, I do field work in festivals, I do interviews, and uh, I'm also uh, interested in comparative views. So I work with uh, European networks to uh, uh, have some parallels uh, between uh, the festivals we can investigate here in Mediterranean France and festivals uh, in Europe, in other countries of Europe. Um, a second topic I, I used to deal with is the one of uh, traditional games and sports. I found out that a lot of traditional games and sports were practiced uh, during the festivals and I began uh, to uh, investigate uh, the traditional sports and games. It's a very interesting topic with a lot of classical literature and also uh, a lot of uh, people still practicing these, uh, these games. There is um, a tr an assumption, there is a, there is a theory uh, from Norbert Elias uh, saying that all the, all the games uh, will become sports. So this is the, the idea of the transformations of games uh, in, into sports. But in fact, if you look at the games and, and, and the sports in uh, anthropological perspective, uh, you, you find out that uh, the games uh, are uh, can, can be revived, can be revitalized, and that sometimes they use the sports models uh, to, uh, to be performed in the, in the modern times. The third uh, thing uh, I'm doing is uh, trying to understand both traditional festivals and uh, games and sports in the um, uh, light of the uh, intangible cultural heritage notion which was uh, coined uh, by the UNESCO in 2003 and which brought a lot of changes in the ways the people look at their own practices. So uh, now uh, what, I, what I am basically doing is trying to assess how uh, the people in the field uh, use the UNESCO label to, to change their views on the, on the festivals and on the traditional games. And this is, um, an interest, this is quite interesting for anthropology because it brings uh, new political issues, uh, how political elites uh, use this new concept of for UNESCO. It also has an importance uh, in, in the field of uh, economic anthropology because uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, label, this new label, uh, Intangible Cultural Heritage, uh, is used to attract a lot of tourists uh, in the festivals and especially uh, around us in the Mediterranean area where 
tourism is, is a great uh, deal, is, a great, uh, uh, is, is of great importance, 